Blogs and welcome to Her Majesty Blog. Welcome, 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 and welcome to It Is Within You Chat, where we take a journey to really just talk about a very, very interesting topic within the pageantry space. And when we get to just share with you guys our opinion on the topic, and you get to share with us your opinion on the topic as well. And we really just get to have a nice time chatting away about the topic of the evening. This is our magazine show, and I normally do with my partner in crime, but today I'll be writing solo. However, we are going to make sure that we have an absolutely, absolutely amazing show. Welcome, welcome, everybody. And we do apologize for starting quite late this evening. However, we are going to get the show on the road and we're going to have some amazing time. Like, look, no network issues formed against us shall prosper. We are really going to have an absolutely amazing show. So our topic for this evening, it is how do pageantry voting systems work? How do pageantry voting systems work? And I have an amazing guest. I just saw her request. It disappeared, but I saw it. Yo, okay, here it is. Let me exit as quickly as I can. It's a bong, bongiwe moyo, and we are going to be chatting with her about how do pageantry voting system works. She is the CEO and founder of Six Day Pageant. So, so let's get to see how this thing goes. I'm crossing fingers and toes because network has been troubling us. We are trying it again. But let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I do hope that you are all having an absolutely amazing, amazing time. And do comment, guys, um, on what it is that you would like to know or what it is that you think of that pageantry voting systems. So I'm going to quickly explain while we wait for our guest of honor what pageantry voting systems are. Okay, my request ran away, so I'm going to request send her a request. All right. So how do, um, what is pageantry voting systems? Let's get there. So pageantry voting systems are basically systems that are in place that pageants uh, would have in order for one to advance to the next stage. So let's say you are a semi-finalist, right? I need votes. And they would say you need to, yes, I'm screaming right now because I'm so excited. Um, you need to vote oh. to get to the next stage. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bye, <Lovely>. yeah. <laughs> I'm giving over my sentence. Like I'm even just like that can wait because now you are here and I'm so excited <laughs> that you are here. <laughs> oh, 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 you're oh, you're waiting on the sidelines. I'm like, what? <laughs> Am I not supposed to be part of this? What's happening? <laughs> don't know. What's happening? I said when I started, got a no network issue from the gates that shall prosper. So look. <laughs> It's fun, but didn't talk. Yeah. Oh, I'm finally here. Here we now. are. Here we are. Oh my goodness! I'm so happy to have you here. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? But why is it that I cannot see you? Why is it that I cannot see? You Don't tell me. me. You know what? I like. I can't see you. And that time, it's that time I see you. I see you perfectly. You know what? It's fine. Let's keep it that way. Let's, because if we move let's from get somebody there, in the comments to tell us. If somebody in the comments can please give us an indication. If you can see us both, then look, we're good to go. Because yeah. we don't want the video at the end of the day yeah. showing only don't one person. Yeah. But Definitely. yeah. Please, 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 somebody in the comments, let us know if you can see both and hear both of us quite audibly. But yeah. yes, I was just saying that you are our guest of honor tonight. Um Okay, Precious Mabasu just said yes, and Rasrofa just said, I see you both. So I think we can just keep it moving without seeing each other, <laughs> even though I can see your gorgeous self. I'm okay. on the gorgeous side. <laughs> but yeah, great, great stuff. As I was saying, um, pageantry voting systems, um, this is what's bringing you here today with us. Yeah. And I think quickly just give us a short intro of who you are before we get into our topic. Okay, well, my name, <laughs> I had you there measuring my name, but I'm going to come to your inbox and we're going to fight in peace. I, I think I said Bongiwe. Yes, you said Bongiwe. Oh, but, my God. Yeah. I didn't, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. My name is uh, Sibonyinkosi Moyo. That is my name. 
That is my name. So a lot of people call me Bongi Mel's Bongi short for Sibongi Ngosi and Mel short for Melissa. So those are my two names. <laughs> those are actually my two names. Okay. Melissa and Bongi. Yeah. Okay. And I'm out just saying, look, Bongi, way. I'm already just renaming you. <laughs> and what a beautiful <laughs> name for that matter. Goodness. Okay. Yeah, yeah, thank you so that. much. <laughs> Thank you so much for honoring us with the pleasure of your time. You know, I mentioned earlier on that you are the CEO of Success. Let me make sure I'm saying it correctly now. Yes. Success Royalty Pageant. Yes. Was that good? Correct. Yes. Definitely. That All was right. good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I said that correctly. So, yeah, you know, I was just speaking on pageant free voting systems and I was saying that. For those that are wondering what are pageantry voting systems, you know, yes. pageantry voting systems are basically, ooh, now my light is going off. Ooh, guys, these things are jealous today, like, but we are working with them. Someone is fighting. <laughs> <laughs> but as I was saying, you know, um, pageantry voting systems are whatever system that a pageant will have in place in order to vote for their semi-finalists to advance to the next stage or their finalists to advance to, you know, the next stage and this is why we have you here so please just tell us what are some of the pageantry voting systems that are available out there okay so yeah uh, um if if ever i miss any <laughs> please anyone can just remind me but um so far so good we've got uh the social media voting platform right so mm -hmm. with social media voting platform that is your facebook that is your instagram whereby uh, they post your picture online and then people are gonna have to like so this one works in form of likes form of likes or either comments it depends on whatever the brand wants and then from there we've mm -hmm. got the website um voting system the website voting system at um any uh website that is off social media so you can only access it through um facebook and instagram but it is um a different entity on its own so like um page and votes right so it is those kind of systems that are, are just created um outside of social media but in order for you to actually vote you need to go through facebook you need to log in through facebook and then you can actually vote on that platform and then from there we've got uh the sms voting uh system whereby uh you just have to send a bulk sms they're charged whether it's three rand whether it's five rand it depends um on the service provider at that time so yeah i think it's it's this three it's either website, uh, any form of website, whether they created it or what, but anything that requires you to log into your website on the net. And then we've got the Facebook and Instagram, and then we've got the page and votes. Oh, and then we've got the deposit vote. The deposit votes um, are then done through the account, whether it's FNB, whether it's Capitec or any um, bank account. So I think it's those four. It's those four. Okay. All right. So I've recently learned of one. Um, so I took part in a pageant, I think, last year, right? And with that one, you had to vote through web tickets. So you see how we can buy tickets to go attend the show and whatnot, whatnot. There's also that where you can um, pay through web tickets to actually vote for one of the finalists and all those things you know okay. i was just not sure from a pageant perspective how that worked but i know that you know from a viewer's perspective that makes sense how it actually um was conducted you know so yes. according to your knowledge which one would you say is the best amongst all the systems you've spoken to us about you know i can't really say that um there's any that is uh, that is best because they all have their advantages and they all they have their disadvantages so if i can just go through them uh one by one for us mm -hmm. as success royalty pageants firstly we started with um social media voting so the reason why we yeah. started with social media voting was so that we can actually um grow our our engagement and also grow our mm -hmm. following so when now you are doing votes on social media 
and you are posting pictures of contestants and there are people that are visiting the page if people are liking the page if people are following the page best believe that they're not even going to unfollow because they're gonna want to follow that person's journey all throughout so with social media votes it is um it is good good for someone who's actually uh growing their page because you need everyone from every different corner from every province to come and like that person's picture so when they like that person's picture then automatically they get to learn about your brand and they start uh, seeing you on their feed and all that and all that and all that so we started with uh social media so that we can only uh grow our following reach our target market and grow our engagement that is the reason why we started with um social media and then when it comes to deposit votes for which is what we are doing now um it's good it's good because uh you get to decide on your own what you're charging so if you mm. decide to charge let's say for example to run per vote mm. it is up to you solely up to you because you know that if your contestant if a contestant maybe votes with 10 rand maybe um one round of that money or two round of that money depending on the service provider that you're using is going to get used for charges right so it does not charge much but the disadvantage of using deposit votes is um uh people trusting it so so many people don't trust just depositing money into into bank accounts especially if it's personal bank accounts because um it's hard let me say for example uh we are using capitech and capitech has not uh introduced yet uh business um accounts right so we're using capitech because it's got lesser charges but at the same time if people don't know about your brand if people haven't trusted your brand it is hard for them to actually trust that they need to deposit money into a personal account and that money is just going to um generate something you understand so that is the disadvantage of deposit votes when you are using a personal account it is at a disadvantage if your business mm -hmm. or your brand is not yet trusted out there and then it comes now to sms voting with right. sms voting everything is great everyone trusts sms voting everyone wants to do sms voting but it is a killer when it comes to businesses so when it comes to businesses with um with SMS voting, you're actually sharing your profit with three people. That two rand or that five rand that you're voting with, it is shared amongst three people. One is the service provider, whether it's Celsi, whether it's MTN, whether it's Telcom. The second one mm -hmm. is the owner of the code, the code that you are voting to. And then the third one okay. is the patent. <laughs> this is your information. I never knew this. Eh? I'm so shocked because. <laughs> I think more than anything, I've been an advocate of this SMS voting because as a per person who takes part, oh, now I'm getting <laughs> tongue twisted. Yeah, Trust as me. a person who takes part in pageants, right? Yes. I know people often tell me that you know what, it's easier for us to send an SMS to vote for you, mm -hmm. you know, and I also see it as convenient as well. So I'm quite, you know, intrigued to find out that it actually goes to three parties. So in a way, it, it, it is a bit of a shortfall when it comes to the pageant itself because now you are spreading um whatever amount that you you are actually charging for the sms yes and guess what from like the rent you find out mm. that the brand is only getting 50 cents ah. 50 cents and now that is the problem that models don't know right so you'll be out here you'll be like no but we guys we voted with this with this way is the money but the money did not come to the pageant organizers or the pageant directors. The money goes straight to the company. And remember, that company is a registered company that is functioning fully. They have to take their cut. Mm. And Telcom or Celsi takes their cut. And then the government takes tax. They have to take VET out of it. Now you are left with this 50 cents. You find that the money does not amount to anything. And now for you to get that money, it may take up to three months for you to pay you that money. Okay. So that is the disadvantage about SMS voting that people do not know. It uh, really, really takes a lot from pageant organizers.
business. So if you just get into it without reading the contract, without understanding what you're getting yourself into, at the end of the day, you find yourself fighting with models for money that you don't even have. Sure. I, I never yeah. knew this. <laughs> President Bailey saying the vote, the SMS voting mm. can be costly, honestly. And I honestly didn't know this myself. So right now, I'm just like, okay, make sense how now over the years most patterns are moving on to the whole thing we just spoke about earlier the website voting yes. and also you know also the, kids also the personal account one right so i'm going to mm. be asking you a lot about your prep pageant because i really want to get you know the gist of everything right yes. so with the whole banking account system right yeah i get how for example it is good for you as a pageant that it, the, the amount is coming directly to you and you get to incur probably a few bank charges here and there mm. but what are some of the disadvantages in this in the sense that how as let's say i'm a finalist in your pageant yeah. how do you calculate my votes is it a matter of looking at the reference that would be put or how do those votes actually accumulate and do you not get confused as a pageant founder as to how far somebody is do you get like a bank statement out and then highlight okay demo has 10 votes <laughs> Hey, all right, hey, whoever is, you know, how, how do you manually get to count the votes? That's actually what we do, either with um, a, a, a bank statement or with the okay. app. So, um, personally, uh, for us, we use the app because it's easier to track uh, every payment. So, everyone, like, someone from the from the organization has to be on standby for that day you understand to to just say okay these are the amounts that came in right so there are amounts like 50 rands and above that can actually you get an sms when it comes through and then there are amounts that are 20 rand and lesser you don't get a notification when they come through right so when you just go on the app you just see that okay someone voted if the person forgot to put a reference you will see that uh, someone voted from a certain area. So you just go on the group and you're like, okay, who voted from Cosmo City Mall or who voted from Gabon whatsoever? And then if they say it's me, it is a lot of work. It is a lot of work, but you just need to, to, to just put your heart into it. So wherever you stopped, you need to highlight where you stopped. You can you can take a screenshot. Okay, I stopped here with the votes of a certain day, and then I'm I'm continuing from this day. So you just have to make sure that you are on top of every each and every amount that comes. You just have to make sure that you are on top of it, and you don't miss anyone's account, anyone's votes. I mean, okay. So would you say it's better to monitor daily or to have it like? on a weekly basis and in order to be able to get a clear picture as to who voted for who how many votes are you know because i hear you with the screenshot part as to how uh how we can either monitor it through that way or yeah what is what what is the best way to monitor that one would it be on a daily basis on a weekly basis or as best as you can as a pageant founder or with whoever that is in your team doing this with you um I really it doesn't matter whether it's daily or weekly Okay. as long as you know okay. where to start let's say maybe it's now week two if you know where you ended the last time that's where you start so you just get a day to just sit down and then tally all the votes for the whole week you understand and then all the votes yeah. that don't have references you send them to the models and you ask them to claim whoever they're claiming so if someone forgot a reference you just send however the payment came however the payment came mm -hmm. you just send it to the models mm -hmm. and then they will have to find out on their own who the, the payment belongs to, and then they will come back with a proof of payment and then you add it next to them. So whether weekly or daily, it really doesn't matter as long as you, you know where you ended and you know where you're starting. Wow. wow. I'm learning so much from this chat and I think I'm learning <laughs> to be less judgmental to those that charge your 20, 50 rand per SMS for, yeah. you know, voting. <laughs> Sometimes we'd be like, yo, that's a lot. Yo, that's in, in. But not knowing how much you guys incur as, you know, pageant founders and also the process behind you guys, you know, calculating these votes. I just want yeah. somebody, guys, if there's somebody watching that for their pageant users, um, 
I think President Bele, please let me know. I know that you also a pageant founder, but anybody else as well that has used the web tickets one. I'm actually quite interested in that one as well to find out how does it work. Does with the web tickets one, does you know, web tickets get a share? Does the pageant itself also, you know, get a cut from that amount? I'm quite interested in hearing that. But more especially, you know, in this day and age, I want to hear from you. Do you think it's right? Because hey, yo, mm. Mama Sarah's economy is standing on the tippy toes, guys. Let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In today's economy, do you think it is right to honestly be voting using money for our faves um, in these pageants? Um, you know what really I can say, like, because <laughs> whatever I'm going to say, I'm going to answer both as a model and as an organizer. Oh, and you know, when you, okay, when you, not, yeah, when you're not exposed to organizing or to, to just let me, let me say, when you're not exposed to the other side of pageantry and you're just a model, it's easier to really just sit down and, and complain, you know, this and this and that, mm -hmm. this and this and that. But now when you on the other side as an organizer now, you get now to see everything. Like when you when you when you have got expectations or when people have got expectations and things need to be done, it really needs to be done by money. And what I really can say and what I really need models to understand at this day and age is that as much as you guys want women empowerment, a uh, boy empowerment and all that, you guys just need to understand that first and foremost, before anything, pageantry is a business. It's nothing else. Okay. It's nothing else. If you find people telling you that it is an empowerment, no, it's not that. Pageantry is a business. From the big pages, right. from Miss South Africa, Miss Universe, what's like, those people are in business. No one can step away and take their time to plan something for someone to be empowered while they're not getting anything. We need to understand that pageantry it's the, for me. it's the honesty. Like it's it is that if models understand that um pageantry is a business, then me as a model now coming, right? I need to understand that now pageantry for me, when I'm entering a pageant, pageantry for me is like, uh, okay, it's like Hollywood bets. It's like getting into betting. You understand? You, you, you need to analyze as a model, right? I'm getting into this pageant. This pageant is saying, I am going to get this in return. What else am I going to get, right? So you calculate your risks right everything you just have to calculate everything and then you put yourself you position yourself accordingly right so this is for those models that just enter you just here yeah, enter here and there you just enter no you need to position yourself accordingly so before you take a risk calculate your risk right with every pageant you, you know you'll find someone entering a pageant today and then coming the, the the voting phase be like i didn't know there was a voting phase. why didn't you do research because if this pageant has been there year after year you need to know and when, what you need to know is okay let me say for example today i decide to join uh okay let me make an example with me i'm currently running for miss unity i'm a semi-finalist for miss unity so this is what i do as a model when i want to enter a pageant we are 86 and we are going to be cut down to top 40. I go yes. through the previous voting results, right? I see how much the top 40 got. When I see how much the top 40 got, I, I then now align myself. I say, okay, maybe if I have got 1,000 votes, I'll be into the top 40. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you need to position yourself accordingly. So you see that, okay, uh, this one had 1,000 votes and they were number 20. Then it means that if I'm aiming for 1,000 votes, I am going to be within the top 40. You don't just enter things. You don't just enter things and don't budget. You understand? Because it's really mm -hmm. going to frustrate you. So when you're entering into something, you need to be intentional about entering into that particular thing. So as much as um, the economy is really failing us, like there is no money, no jobs, no whatsoever, pageantry is a risk.
it is a risk to you as a model it's also a risk to the organizer who's organizing because if now i'm coming out and i'm saying i'm gonna give people fifty thousand rains and i don't have sponsors then it, it is really a risk to both of us you understand but one thing yeah. though that is a problem is having organizers that are greedy that want to take 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 and take but don't give to models you understand okay. so i'm talking yeah. about you know you find a pageant you going to um you're going to pay registration after paying registration you're going to vote after voting you have to travel to the province where they are hosting it you have to pay for accommodation wherever they are hosting it you have to sell about 15 tickets wherever they are hosting it it is a lot those kind of pages you do not need you understand so we need organizers who are going to say okay from this money that we have made from the votes what now can we do for the models because as much as you believe that is your money it's not the money belongs to the models and you use it to use it why wisely you need if you want your brand to grow year after year and if you want your brand your brand to impact positively on other people then you also need to be lenient you you need not to think as a business person every time you need not to be greedy every time you need to also take that money and give it back you understand when you give it back then everything is just going to multiply the universe is like that you give you get given you know it, it's also just give and multiply <laughs> all goodness and grace. Exactly. Mm. I just want to ask um, President Bailey. Um, he says that we are re recently using a deposit one and we are about to use our website in corporate with Yoko. So I want to have an honest chat with you here and ask you with the Yoko, are you also incurring costs? Like, you know how she said that she's incurring bank fees, uh, bank charges with. Uh, an account please just let us know in the comments and i love his comment when he says that we are social entrepreneurs mm -hmm. like just as you mentioned that this is actually a business like people he, he's like we are social entrepreneurs that's it people don't get it you know yeah and then felicia Mukiteng says position yourself accordingly and i couldn't agree more right there when you're speaking about position yourself accordingly and doing your research with these patterns i think that is something that people don't practically go through in entering pageants and you, you, you fall in love with the brand and the idea of a pageant and not specifically through their voting systems and yes it might change over the years and it grows but be intentional about how you check out those kind of things you know mm. okay so the response as well with your course about two rand per transaction although the amount needs to start from 10 rand okay makes sense so guys don't say people are telling you guys a lot when they say vote for me from 10 rand like i think we are past those days some two and and all five rand and all those things so yeah thank you for your honesty president by the all honesty with the yoko post key pack okay. okay so we are learning we are learning we are learning yeah, we are expanding our knowledge on yeah i've been biased that i've been biased i've been like guys please bring back the sms maybe because my first present was sms and i saw how that you know worked in my favor people were literally voting left right and center and i think it also brings a bit of an insecurity towards models okay let me think about myself yeah with the bank account thing you know so yeah. you know when the pageant gives a weekly review of who's the top vote, like top three and so forth, it gives you an idea that okay, I'm on the right track. But if you don't get the kind of review from the pageant organizer and partners themselves, mm -hmm. you don't get to know whether people are voting for you or not. So the SMS yeah. system, I remember I used to ask for screenshots and <laughs> it used to work for me because I would know, okay, his people are voting for me, at least people are voting for me, you know. So yeah, yeah. I also get to how how, you know there's pros and cons and i think everybody should be mindful of this especially those that are considering starting their own pageants you know and not just from entering perspective as well yeah okay hey and then what are your views on social media voting social as somebody media. who comes from that as well <laughs> i think social media voting is very good for someone who still wants to uh grow their brand right mm -hmm. so um it's good for both models and it's good for also organizers right mm -hmm. so i usually hear models complaining no people don't want to like people don't want to follow us 
you really as a model you really need to automatically be obsessed with growing your car your account or with just growing your page you understand so that you reach uh certain people you know the re uh the truth about this life or about whatever we need in this life you will never get support from people that are close to you but there'll be strangers out there that are willing to go in extra and that will even share your post you understand mm -hmm. so with social media now uh you get to grow your account you get to reach more people you get to even um reach sponsors some people can just um see the girls that are there and they can just approach you and you know want to be involved in your brand so social media voting is one of those things that um it, it it never goes out of fashion you understand yeah because it's important for every brand whether you're doing it on instagram you're gonna get followers that engagement is needed because after all that's what sponsors or partnerships are after so that when you're in traffic when you're having traffic in one place and then people want to automatically come and advertise um from your page or from your business so i think social media uh, voting is something that really will ne will never go out of style, will never change from it because it keeps on helping. You get to engage with a lot of different people in one space. I think you also agree that it's probably a, space, a good space to start out, but to also be realistic of how you will not be getting anything from it, yes. right? Yes, 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 definitely. Yeah, no, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. And then, you know, with all these pageantry voting systems, right, there's a way yes. in which these votes incur towards contributing towards the grand finale of a pageant. So I want to know, how do those votes get calculated when one is get to grand finale stage? And yeah, how does it in, those votes actually add up towards the actual point of the overall win? Okay, so with us, I'm, I'm not sure, but with us and also some other patients that I've joined, like Miss Josie, and also currently I'm in, um, I'm in Miss Unity, um, voting results or points, they don't add to the score of the day. They just get you to okay. talk about what. So they are meant to just push you. So let me say uh, you guys vote and then you're on top 40. You're not getting any point um, towards your score because now if we were to do that then now it means that we are weighing you guys on money you understand the whole thing becomes monetary what about number one how how many points are we going, going to give number one and then what about number last the one that is at the bottom how many are you going to give uh, that person so the votes yeah. don't contribute anything towards the final score if ever there is something that should be given it should be given to number one which will be the public choice winner whether there is a, a cash price for that whether it's an automatic spot in top what what just that winner but for everyone else there are no points whatsoever even for the public choice winner there are no points whatsoever they all get on zero it's just um, a side award that you just begged, public choice award, and then you get whatever you get in for that award. So I don't think um, votes should ever count to score sheets because now you really start lining everyone else. You understand? You yeah. basically saying buy the crown. That's what you're saying. You basically saying come forward and buy the crown. So the whole pity pity there would be to buy the crown. Yeah, I know. I completely understand. I completely understand. And moving slightly away from, you know, um, pageantry voting systems, um, the biggest pageant in our country, um, in South Africa, this year did what we call crown chases, which is basically like a series where, you know, what they were eliminating each person every single week. They had a pad, they had a challenge they had to do, and all those things. What were your thought, thoughts on it? <laughs> Okay. okay. <laughs> it's a safe space, man. It's a safe space. <laughs> okay. You know, when it when it comes to that, I'll start by saying I'll start by going back to the point where I said pageantry is a business for everyone. So if you remember correctly, uh there was a year whereby 
um, uh, prices just skyrocketed. Uh, it means say you now needed to vote for like 20 rand. And people were really angry. You know, they were fighting back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> so this is what Miss SA went and did. They made a reality TV show that SAPC3 had to buy. And people had to watch. So it was just another way for them to what? To monetize the show, right? So with mm. the whole show, I think it was good. The purpose of the show, what they said the show is for, was good. I love it because we, I think the, the contestants got to learn a lot about themselves. You know, they went through different challenges, through different adve adventures and all that. And they were judged, they were judged and judged and judged. But I really don't think that, um, I, I don't think that the judging weekly or the elimination would have been something that I say um, I'm really 100% on. This is because whoever was judging there, you know, there's a certain influence. You know, within a judging table, there's always that one who is louder or whose influence is much more than the others. And when you find that person, that person always has a way of making sure that their decisions, they come to play. Mm -hmm. You understand? That person will mm -hmm. fight, even if it means yeah. fighting. They have that power to just say, you know, if others, if if you were to put a judge who's just quiet and lenient and then someone who's like, blah, 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 they're just saying, ah, you know what, just take your decision or just, um, it's fine, I understand your point. You understand? So I feel like with the judging that went on through Crown Chesses along the way, it might have also influenced the judges on the final day, right? So mm -hmm. I'm not saying that the models, some models did not work hard. Yeah. But when it came yeah. to this stage, I feel like some pushed more and saved more, but they did not win. Why did they not win? We were told that through crown chasers, they were doing this, but this is them today. This is them today. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I was not really happy with the results. I, I felt like, ah, uh -uh. no, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe they should have just went through crown chasers, find out a little bit more about themselves, Go through the challenges, but don't get judged or eliminated. And all that gets mm. judged by um, the same panel on the day, you know, not um, taking out, eliminating and all that. I felt like, uh, no, 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 no. There was <laughs> just some influence that I didn't like because at the end of the day, we, we as a country had to look at what the models were now delivering on that stage. Mm. You understand? Yes, someone might have been good and consistent, consistent all throughout. But now when it came to the stage, they just lagged, you know. Mm. So uh, it's, it's just a bit of both. But anyways, it is a good platform because I feel like um, for the first time, it, it wasn't really about just working on stage and being glamorous and being beautiful. But the, the girls really went through challenges that were life-changing and life-shaping. So true, and we get to, we got to know them better, you know. And yeah. we got to hear their voices. We got to hear what they stood for. And yeah, yeah man, I I completely understand when you when you speak about how with judges there is always one that has a bit more influence than the other, and somehow, some way, you know, <laughs> influencing yeah. the others um, as to which direction they take about whoever gets to go to an, an advance to the next stage. Mm -hmm. But I think in closing, let's just um. Let me get your view in general about your views on overall voting systems. Overall voting systems. Um, I think, I think they like, I think they're just good depending on how the person uses it. It's just like social media. Someone can just go and use it uh, haphazardly and someone can just come and nature whatever they're doing for people for organizers who are really using the either the sms or deposit voting system uh, as a tool to actually give back to models or as a tool to actually generate money to actually give back as prizes to model i say big ups you guys should continue doing that but for those that go around cutting corners and making profits for themselves and not actually giving back to the models then you guys are really killing the industry because these models really put a lot to put money 
happy, you know, to get people to actually rally behind you and vote for you is not something that mm. is easy. So all I ask is that at the end of the day, give the models what is due to them because they worked for it. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. What a powerful closing statement. President yeah. Bailey saying this needs a panel discussion. Very insightful. And it was great hearing from Miss Bongi. Ah, oh, I'm glad oh, that you loved so it. And I enjoyed having this conversation with you because I learned so much. I must say, I learned so much. And now I'm no longer just going into pageants or thinking with a work lab and not searching for it. <laughs> how do I get into the you know, finalist days? How does these voting systems work and so on? Yeah. And there's definitely room for improvement and growth for these voting yeah. systems, but I think we are more informed right now and quite enlightened um, by these pageant voting systems. But also, can I just say, I was supposed to do this in the beginning, but yes. like they have lower girl, like there's, there's just something, man. Like, you know, I'm looking at you and I'm like, we had you last year yes. and you look absolutely <laughs> amazing. And there's this growth in the, in, the, in the kind of caliber of a woman that you are right now. You know, I was telling <laughs> Unke on the side when she showed me your poster, I'm like, hey, girl is looking so stunning just like hey 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 i see it too <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much hey and continue opening these doors as well you know for pageant ladies like yourself you know you mentioned that you're a pageant founder but you're also somebody who is able to put on the cap of a pageant founder but also able to put on the cap of look now i am sympathizing or i'm putting myself in the shoes of those that are actually you know um finalists themselves so look may you just continue flourishing within this space and wishing you all the best with miss unity how can we support you how can you follow your pageants look tell us tell us all the great stuff before you leave thank you thank you thank you i'm gonna need it i'm gonna need all the support <laughs> i'm gonna need all the support but most of all if god says yes then definitely i am going to be going for the crown you know yeah. yeah so how do we follow you do they just keep up updated with your personal page to follow you and with your pageant page as well to figure out to follow what's going on and yeah any upcoming events that you like to support you add so yeah um well you can just follow me at uh Boing Mel's on instagram yeah that's where i'm most active lately so yeah you can just follow my journey there and then um we'll be hosting our third annual miss Rai region south africa on the 2nd of december so i hope to see you Woo! Hope to see you. Like, 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 Yes, as an invite, we will be there. We like things. <laughs> Definitely. So I'll just like to take this opportunity to, to invite everyone. On the second of December, we are going to be having our finale for Miss Royal Region South Africa. It's going to be a night event. It starts at five p.m. So be there. If you're someone that is looking forward to joining it next year, I believe that you really need to watch this year. Follow the journey of all the finalists. Mm -hmm. You will see. You will choose. Choose oh. my character. Which yeah. one really oh. inspires me? We really have got strong, beautiful ladies, and that are just gunning for the crown in every angle. And it's going to be a spectacular night, I promise you. Love, so. love, love to hear that. <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness! You know what? Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Thank you for your time, and thank you for being an amazing guest on our show. Yeah. Wishing you all the best for so your future and <laughs> you for me you know every year i get an invite i'm like yeah 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 if i don't get an invite i always make sure that i invite myself <laughs> girl zipagi like put yourself in look we love you and we appreciate you have an absolutely amazing night thank bye. you so much you too bye bye <laughs> <laughs> That was Bongi Moyo, and she is the founder of Six Day Royalty Pageant. I hope that you'll be following them and look, finding out what is what. Look, we are invited, guys, to the finale. Second December, let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go have some fun. I'll be going through the news, the latest, and the pageant industry, and 
yeah, I hope you're just as excited as I am about all these views that are coming through. Starting with Miss Grand. Oh my goodness, I'm sure you've all been watching Miss Grand, and we are super, super proud of our fave, Guguletu, for doing so well. Oh my goodness. And a special congratulations to Luciana Foster, all the way from Peru, for winning the crown. The crowning took place in Vietnam. Whoop, whoop. Congratulations to her. The highly anticipated Mobile Africa will be taking place this weekend. I hope you bought your tickets. It'll be taking place at the same theater. And if ever you aren't able to make it to the show, you can watch it on SABC3 from half past five right through to eight o'clock. So, yes. If you have any favorites, make sure that you just look out for them and wish them well this weekend at Miss World South Africa. I think most people are quite excited as it will be the first of its kind, you know, it was previously under the Miss South Africa banner, so it's quite interesting to see how it's going to go as an independent pageant. So, wow, let's just stay tuned for that one and see how it goes. The next one that we'll be speaking about is the Miss World 23 has been postponed. The international pageant has been postponed to the 2nd of March. 2024 due to recent elections happening in Delhi in India. So that's where it was supposed to be hosted. It has been shifted. It will only be happening at the end of the year. It will only be next year in March. Then back to South Africa, we would like to send a special congratulations to Miss South Africa 2020, Shudufato Mustina. Oh, guys, she's doing so, so amazing. She has recently launched her book, which is I Am Shudu, Finding My Voice, Knowing My Strength. She recently as well launched what she calls her labor of love in the same way. I'm sure you've been seeing all the posts about it. It's available at selected Woolworth stores. The launch started at the VNA Waterfront just this weekend, where she was just there loving and showing off her beautiful, beautiful design. So let's make sure that we support her and show her some love. Show her some love. Staying with Miss South Africa, guys, Miss Africa is just doing amazing. Like, I can't even contain my excitement over this. So, Miss Africa 2021 top five finalist, her name is Bianca Pedazenwood. I'm sure you guys will remember her. She recently said, I do, I do, over the weekend. And look, guys, if, you've already ha if you haven't seen her picture, please go to her personal page to get a sneak peek of how amazing she looked. Ah, the countdown has been so beautiful towards the big day. So we say congratulations to her. <laughs> Staying with Miss South Africa as well, Lalela Mswane got a job. Like, look, she secured a proper gig as the co-host of Daily Teta. I'm sure you've been seeing her on your screen and we are so, so happy for her. Look, Queen, continue doing amazing. We love, love, love to see the growth that Miss SA Queens are just, look, moving from one place to the other and really just showing that you can do anything you set your mind to. On to the next one. Congratulations to Thailand's Katwale Kit for winning Miss Aura International 2023. Congratulations as well to Miss Earth 2023, Zabe Losabisa. We had her on our platform this year and she is now Miss Earth South Africa 2023. Huge congratulations to her. Love, love to see our queens and so have had on our channel really just doing amazing stuff. And the organization announced that the first runner-up, Belinda Schroender, will be representing SA in the International Miss Earth 2023 in Vietnam later this year. Miss Earth South Africa, Bryony Gavanda, will be representing South Africa at the 72nd. Guys, imagine Miss Universe has been, guys. So she will be representing South Africa at the 72nd Miss Universe on the 18th of November that is taking place at El Salvador. Then lastly, Miss International took place today. I'm sure you've been glued to the social media platforms 
to hear what is what when it comes to this particular pageant. So the pageant took place where, in Japan where 71 ladies from different countries took part and Janique Boda, Miss International South Africa, represented our country beautifully. We are so, so, so proud of her and her team with Kaylin. Look, we cannot wait for her to come back and tell us how was her journey and tell us all about, you know, the amazing things that she learned that side in Japan. The winner, however, was Miss Venezuela. A huge, huge congratulations to her. Look, we wish them all the best with their reigns and everybody else who's just been winning and has been crowned. There's a lot of Miss Universe in different countries that have been crowned. There's a lot of Miss Worlds in different countries that have been um, crowned as well. I think it goes back to how each of these pageants are just working towards getting to the highly anticipated international pageant. So congratulations to those winners as well. Follow us for more information and for more news. Just stay up to date and watch our stories. We will give you guys all the news. Like we will just serve you guys all the news here in the pageant industry. Next week, we are having an interview on Tuesday with the amazing, ah, oh, goodness. She is so, so amazing. We call her Usi Samke and she is doing the most now as Mrs. Universe now. Ah. Oh. Supreme Universe, excuse me, sorry. She is the newly crowned Mrs. Supreme Universe and we're gonna hear all things amazing concerning that. And then in closure, that is it. That is it. Hope you enjoyed today's show. Hope that we will just be engaging further on today's topic and we'll be getting to hear more from you guys. We enjoyed deliberating on today's topic and we do hope that you will have an absolutely amazing weekend and that you'll be right here next week tuesday to watch us while we interview Usisam K, your miss supreme mrs supreme south africa and look it's going to be an amazing show you don't want to miss it but we're also building up to our highly anticipated her Majesty Awards. Hope that you're looking forward towards that and what we have in store for you guys this year. We are super, super excited. But we're building up as well to our 100th episode. Ah, oh, guys, it's going to be special. It's going to be a special, special episode. So look forward and stay tuned for that one. But from me, with Damarello and the team, it is good night and God bless.